I have prepared a few shulker boxes right here for uh, the next project. Uh, so let's have a look at those and uh, if you can guess uh, what this is about you probably can from the thumbnail. So these uh, 23 shulker boxes, I don't know how to transport them all, um, are only the tiniest amount of our next project. So. I'm really excited, hope you are too. Hello boys and girls, my name is Otsusti and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Today we are back at the uh, ink farm, which we have seen last uh, in episode 30, so uh, quite a while back. And to Today we have to uh, improve uh, this a bit, uh, we need a bit of uh, storage and infrastructure uh, and things like that and we also want to uh, uh, do uh, a bit of uh, landscaping here, so a, a nice hut, maybe a pond, something uh, like that. But as you can see here on the right side I have uh, covered up the uh, the river which uh, we drained for this farm, but on the left side this is a different story. So that's basically the first thing that needs to be done, and then we can think about the rest. I just realized that I have not yet told you what exactly we are doing here. So while I'm shaving this uh, corner of the hill a bit back so that we have uh, a bit more uh, room uh, on the on the side of uh, of our squiddy here, um, we will build a stuga. Uh, that's Swedish in part uh, uh, in uh, reference to my favorite Swedish uh, Minecrafter is called uh, 85 but also because uh, I think uh, with uh, the uh, birch forest which is uh, around somewhere here over at uh, this side which I think is also a flower forest um, uh, that just reminds me of uh, uh, the uh, Swedish uh, landscape and so I thought it's it's quite fitting uh, to have uh, a small wooden hut here uh, which can basically uh, uh, cover up uh, our uh, nether portal and uh, our uh, storage facility, uh, have a bed in there and, uh, and what not, whatever we need and also uh, access to the down below there should be somewhere uh, a, a tube that's covered up at the moment uh, but uh, we will have a different uh, method of transportation uh, this time and uh, I'm excited about it. But I'm even more excited about the Stuga because I have planned something really fantastic and if this actually turns out uh, as great as I envision in my mind, uh, this will be mind-blowing. So let me get some more work done here uh, then also I need to uh, uh, dig out a bit on the ground uh, so we have actually the uh, room down there as well and basically that should uh, give us an indication how much room we need uh, on top of here uh, so let me work a bit on that. All right, found the uh, chamber and the uh, access tube here and uh, dug my way out from uh, over here 
and what we have here is a slow clock which will shoot out the uh, uh, the insects which are in here apparently the clock is too slow and what we will do here is basically create a sorting system and shulker box filler um, you might wonder why the hell a sorting system so a few weeks back the uh, uh, latest snapshot for the 1.17 update came out and in there were glow squids but as far as it's not yet clear um, how the, the spawning behavior uh, of those will be so I just assume it will be the same as for squids and this would mean this farm would produce both kinds so to be prepared I will do a sorter and a shulker box filler for both of them and basically we will take them out from here uh, pump them up and in and then send the uh, filled shulker boxes up uh, back here into our hut so let me build this contraption the sorter uh, shulker box filler is put in place and I also reworked uh, this a bit so that the uh, items do not stack up in here in the dispenser but as they come in they are shot up and go through the system and this is the same design as uh, I used in the uh, our main sorter and as we had uh, our uh, item lift uh, back there anyway so it was not a big deal to uh, just uh, um, reroute the, uh, the items there and then uh, on the bottom the broken shulker boxes will go through this hopper line so far until here and then it is night but basically here we will have our uh, personal elevator using slime blocks so getting down is pretty easy you just place slime block at the uh, bottom and fall down uh, but getting back up that's a bit more complicated and I think I will build it up in uh, creative first uh, build it up here uh, show you how it's working and then do the uh, explanation on the uh, showcase model so see you in a bit the slime block elevator part is finished um, as you can see down there uh, the room got a bit larger than uh, I uh, expected because I figured out uh, to create a nice lace terracotta pattern uh, the sides have to be uh, even so it's a 6 by 4 instead of uh, a 3 by 3 which would be the minimal size but let's see how this actually works uh, the the down is uh, is faster of course and you drop down on this uh, uh, this uh, slime block and you want to bounce uh, about three times in order to not take damage then through here we go into uh, the uh, sorter portion and uh, to get up there is another button down here and it works that way and on here we will then have a floor covering everything nice
but let's jump over to creative and uh, see how it works behind the scenes let's start with a simple demonstration here um, it works like this for the uh, uh, slime block uh, launches that are flush with the wall the contraption here uh, that consists of two sticky pistons and a slime block is pushed out of the wall and then the lower piston fires which it is activated through this line which is powered but it only powers the piston once it is moved and here in the back there is a delay circuit um, because uh, when we press the button uh, below the pistons further up need to be uh, uh, delayed a certain amount of time um, so that uh, they actually push us upwards and uh, don't do anything different so how does this look uh, on here it's basically down here the the wiring from the bottom which goes to the uh, bottom piston and then also uh, snakes its way up here through the uh, blue line and then comes in here to this part which is the uh, the delay circuit of uh, uh, six segments and then back here and uh, I figured out it's important that this repeat is at the, at the right position uh, because the signal strength that you get out of here uh, increases uh, the, the longer it, it takes and uh, basically you want it at that position where the most the, the signal has as the most strength so uh, in that you don't uh, repeat the, the signal to full strength uh, further and then it basically goes into this piston which uh, uh, pushes everything up and uh, once the piss this piston is pushed out uh, it gets powered by this redstone line which uh, comes from this side and uh, is basically on four ticks and this goes on uh, further up and uh, the distance between the, the the piston launches they increase so uh, here we have two blocks in between then it is three and then it is four and that has to do with the uh, the, the velocity you come back down onto the slime block it manages to uh, uh, push you up higher and uh, that way I don't think uh, this is, is really uh, linear um, the height which is uh, 21 blocks in total is just not uh, uh, too big to prove or disprove that and then here on the blue line uh, on each segment which is basically just a copy of the the one below uh, there is additional delay in order that these uh, pistons fire later than the ones below and then here on the top um, we have this uh, extended trapdoor which holds us in place and this button press uh, retracts uh, that goes through this line here and then powers this block unpowering the torch which then lets the piston retract and if we get a signal from down below uh, it's the same thing it the signal just comes from from this direction instead of from above so hopefully this 
all made sense to you and uh, now it's more building time a nice uh, stuga around the uh, contraption to get everything in there and uh, I will show you once that's done here is the result and if you say now hot tea that's not what you promised us I have to agree with you uh, this looks more like uh, a barn than uh, the uh, the Stuga that I promised and largely I think it's a matter of proportion it's uh, way wider than I intended it to, do, to be and then these uh, these planks are too small for that uh, and in the inside it looks a bit like that inside is okay it's quite spacey um, but the uh, outside that just won't do and uh, there's also a bit more work uh, landscaping wise that need to be done and seeing that this video is already one week uh, overdue and uh, also a bit lengthy it's time to wrap this video up and uh, we will continue here uh, in the next one so uh, stay tuned and this also gives me a bit of uh, leeway when it comes to the next project which is tiny bit frightening so uh, I have no problem with postponing that one so see you soon Goodbye.